Blessed and glorious day to all of you listening to the Rhapsody of Realities. We are so pleased to share God's word with you today through this platform with a message entitled Demonstrating Your Righteousness in Giving on this 9th of June. Our theme verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 in the Passion Translation reads, Yes, God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace so that you will have more than enough of everything, every moment and in every way. He will make you overflow with abundance in every good thing you do. Hallelujah. One of the ways to live a life of influence, honor and impact in the kingdom of God is to be a real giver, generous to the cause of the gospel. It is so inspiring to see those who are filled with utmost zeal to spread the gospel into every nook and cranny of the world. See yourself as responsible for reaching everyone in your world and in regions beyond with the gospel before the Lord's return. Think about the impressive testimony of Rhapsody of Reality's devotional being available in all known and active languages of the world, making it the most translated material in the whole world. This happened because many around the world made themselves available, giving their time and resources to see that billions of people can read the message of the gospel in their native language. You could choose to be part of this today. The Bible says, as it is written, he had dispersed abroad, he had given to the poor, his righteousness remained forever. Now he that ministered seed to the sower both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. This is in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 9 to 10. Giving is righteousness, and by sowing seeds of righteousness, you produce fruits of righteousness. Glory to God. He says, His righteousness remaineth forever. Yes, Christ has made you righteous, but there are fruits of righteousness, and they come from your works of righteousness. Works of righteousness are seeds of righteousness, and being manifested primarily in your giving, they will turn in an abundant harvest. Amen. Hallelujah. Indeed, we are trees of righteousness and we are here as a blessing to the nations. Out of us flows the goodness and virtues of God. Praise God. Let us now take this prayer together. Dear Father, thank you for making all grace, every favor and earthly blessing. Come to me in abundance so that I may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient possessing enough to require no aid or support furnished in abundance for every good work in Jesus name Amen for more insight on this article you just heard today, Pastor Chris has given these scriptures from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 9 to 10, Proverbs chapter 11 verses 24 to 25, and 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 8 to 11 in the message translation for you to study further. Praise the Lord. If you would like to seed for the gospel, where you can either sponsor, enlist, engage, or distribute the Rhapsody of Realities, kindly visit smiles.tniglobal.org. Subscribe to this channel for daily messages like this and bring others to join you and increase in the knowledge of God. As you have heard this message, share this on your social media platforms and bless others with the blessing of the gospel. Continue reigning as a king in this life and tune in again tomorrow for more. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me 
and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.